To write the name for Cr2O3, we first need to recognize we have a metal here and a nonmetal. So we're going to treat this as an ionic compound and write the name based on the charges. So we name the metal first as it appears on the periodic table. Cr, that's chromium. Next, we'll write the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table, oxygen, lowercase o, and we'll replace the ending with IDE. So we'll cross this out and write IDE. So at this point, we have chromium oxide, except that chromium, this is a transition metal, and it can have different charges depending on what it's bonded to. Here, these two chromium atoms, they're bonded to three oxygen atoms. So we can go to the periodic table and look up the charge on oxygen. Oxygen right here has an ionic charge of two minus. So when oxygen bonds, it'll form ions with a two minus charge. Each of these three oxygen atoms has a two minus ionic charge. So the whole thing, it needs to add up to zero. Three times two minus, that's six minus. So we need six plus over here to balance the charge. Two times three plus, that would give us six plus. Six plus, six minus. So the chromium has an ionic charge, each one of them, of three plus. Because of that, we'll write the Roman numeral three in parentheses between the chromium and the oxide here. So the name for Cr2O3 is chromium three oxide. And the three, that comes from the ionic charge on each of these chromium atoms. This is Dr. B with the name for Cr2O3, chromium three oxide. Thanks for watching.